and we're live again well that was a disaster apparently the uh, the upload got corrupted so we'll try and do it all over again so I got asked uh, in a private message just can you use if you're looking to upgrade from an old 3000 or 4000 series Pico scope can you use your existing accessories that you've got even if they're not BNC plus and the answer to that is yes so let me show you I've got now the TA73 current clamp around one of my injector wires and I've got a voltage probe into into the same injector wire okay so we know we know that a diesel injector is going to be um, coming up on on current it's going to be a hundred two hundred maybe well, 250 amps something like that and then I've also got an old uh, pressure pulse sensor in, in my exhaust okay which is just a standard BNC connection right, there were no attenuators in this kit so I don't know whether they make BNC plus attenuators but I've got the old Pico TA10 20 to 1 attenuator in channel B I've got my 60 amp current clamp in channel A and I've got my pressure pulse sensor in channel C okay so if we go over onto our software again I'm, I'm sorry if, I'm, if you've already watched this and you're repeating it but my upload was corrupted for some reason so I'm going to use the Pico 7 software and I'll show you a couple of little tricks here you'll like this so it's detecting the scope there's the help screen we can get rid of that because we don't we never never RTFM you can see channel A has selected a 20 amp current clamp it's selected a 60 amp current clamp and it's put it on a 2 amp range it's got battery voltage on channel B and nothing on channel C so what I want to do immediately, I just want to flick, obviously there's no current running through that, so I just want to, in fact let's, let's bang it up, let's do it manually, okay, let's just put that on a 20 amp scale, then channel B, I need to tell it it's got an attenuator fitted, so I'll go on to probes, attenuator, 20 to 1, you see there now it's automatically selected a 400 volt range and then channel C for my pressure pulse sensor now I know this this pressure pulse sensor was assembled incorrectly and when it's a positive pressure pulse the waveform actually goes down so I want to invert my waveform on the Pico 6 software we used to have to use a math channel on the Pico 7 we don't, if we come down to the bottom here there's an invert button so all I have to do is press that that channel is now automatically inverted so my pressure will go up when it's positive and down when it's negative and then I'm just going to literally click on it again and I'm just going to put it on a 2 volt setting ok so we'll start the vehicle Engine is now running. We come back to the screen and we can see there's an awful lot of information on there. So I just want to reduce my time base, which is up at the top left. Okay, and I want to I want to set a trigger on channel A, which is the current. So I click on the trigger box, channel A repeat trigger and then you'll see this little diamond here just drag it over and drag it to about there click the trigger box again to get rid of it and what we can see now I'll turn the engine off waveform has stayed on the screen obviously I can just go I can there's my buffer so I can let's just select that one ok 
cool is that? All right, so what we can see, nice even pressure pulses. Yeah, we dragged my ruler down. We can see I was getting there about 200 volts. So close to the, I mean, it's rated for 200 volts maximum, plus or minus 200, plus or minus 30 volts. Yeah, so I was right to fit an attenuator. And current wise, we're looking around about what's that about 15 amps and then if we look at our pressure pulse let's get rid of that buffer if we can so we've got it full screen again now and then if we look at our pressure pulses from our exhaust they're all nice and even there are no oranges in our box of apples so we've nothing to worry about there Obviously, normally you would use pressure pulse on a, on a cranking relative compression test or something. But for the purposes of this demonstration, which is to answer the question, can we use our existing accessories when upgrading? The answer is yes. So, I hope you found this interesting. Hey, up, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, mate? You all right? Yeah, so to answer your question, yes, you can use your existing accessories when upgrading from PeacockScope. So, hope you found it interesting. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, however you're feeling, and drop a comment in the comment box. And if you've not already heard about it, we've got our new online community at www.simplydiag.net. There's a free public site that anybody can join and there's a, a, a membership fee based closed section for trade only. If you'd like to join us, we'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching. You're awesome.